हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन माय लास्ट वीडियो यू वाज्ड हाउ आई यूज द शेप्स इन द प्रोडक्ट फोटोग्राफी सो वन ऑफ द व्यूअर्स आस्क मी हाउ टू क्रिएट द शेप्स इन फोटोशॉप फॉर क्रिएटिंग प्रोडक्ट पॉडियम्स इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो यू विल वॉच हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट शेप्स लेट्स स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट आई एम ए क्रिएटिंग ए न्यू डॉक्यूमेंट एंड सेलेक्टिंग ए रेक्टेंगुलर शेप फ्रॉम द टूल मैन्यू ड्राइंग ए रेक्टेंगल बाई यूजिंग माउस As I completed the rectangle a new layer will be created this layer was a created as a smart object layer it means you can change it any time in non destructive way i am selecting the properties of the shapes if you are not able to see the properties you can activate it by going windows menu and select properties here you can find many options first option is a fill color and in the second option you can create a strokes outside or inside of your shape if you want i have selected black color of stroke and change its value to 10 more you increase the value more thick your stroke you will see a black outline was created on the rectangle the other option you can select from the properties or from top option bar and that is a which type of outline you need to create solid dotted or in dash so drop down the menu next to the stroke value box i am changing the plane line to dash you will see the outline converted in the dashes you can also change the distance of the dash from the both side or one side by changing its value now i am selecting dots the outline converted in the dots you can also change the stroke position you can also change the stroke position default center or center to outside or inside the another very useful option is a create round edge corners if you will change one value the all value synchronizing accordingly it is because these are linked if you will unselect the link icon you can edit any of the four edges as i am changing here The next option is a combining shapes. When we create a new shape, it creates a new smart object layer. If we select combine shapes option, it creates on same layer. By selecting this arrow key we can select the individual shape and move on other shape and can combine to the first shape by selecting shape we can add any new shape on existing shape and it will combine to that shape the other handy option is a subtract shape in subtract from shape area mode the second shape is used to remove part of the initial shape in subtract from shape area mode the second shape is used to remove part of the initial shape i will draw another rectangular shape with the rectangular tool again overlapping the original and this time we get a different result instead of adding the new shape to the existing one the new shape has been used to remove or cut away part of the initial shape where the two shapes overlap as you can watch by the path outlines both shapes are there in the document but only the part of the original shape that is not being overlapped by the second shape remains visible intersecting shapes by intersecting tool i will draw my second shape and this time only the area where the two shapes intersect remains visible both shapes are hidden except for the area where they overlap each other the last option is a exclude overlap shapes by selecting this tool i am drawing my second shape and this time you will get the exact opposite result from what you watch when the intersect shape areas option was selected with the exclude overlapping shapes areas the overlapping area of the shape is a hidden while the rest remains visible the exclude overlapping shapes area 
मोड हाइड्स एरियाज ऑफ द शेप डेट ओवरलैप अनदर शेप इज अलिप्स शेप यू कैन आल्सो ड्रा सर्कल विद अलिप्स टूल आई एम क्रिएटिंग ए स्ट्रोक एज आई हैव क्रिएटेड इन द रेक्टेंगुलर टूल यू कैन यूज ए फिल स्ट्रोक टू अप्लाई अ फिल पैटर्न और ग्रेडियंट टू यूर इमेज द स्ट्रोक गिव यू द एडिड फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी ऑफ चेंजिंग द फिल पैटर्न और ग्रेडियंट यू कैन यूज द सेम टूल्स ऑन एनी शेप you can create triangle and polygon here with the polygon shape you can create a star shape to draw stars with the polygon tool click on the small arrow in the option bar to bring up the polygon option then select star ratio by changing star ratio 100% to 70% or drag out a star shape the side option in the option bar controls the number of the points in the star so with the default sides value of 5 for example we get the five pointed star you can create eight pointed star also you can smooth the indents as well and make them rounded by selecting the smooth indents option selecting the smooth indent options and again you get a different look to our star shape you will find the custom shape tool nested in with photoshop's other shape tools in the same spot in the tools panel by default the rectangular tool is the tool that's displayed but if you check on it and hold your mouse button down and fly out menu will appear listing the other tools that are available in the sport the custom shape tool is at the bottom of the list once we have the custom shape tool selected we needed to choose the shape we want to draw a shape preview thumbnail will appear in the option bar to the right of the custom shape tool icon the thumbnail displays the custom shape that's currently selected Here I have selected a tree and draw the tree. Again, I draw the loin from the animal folder. You can also edit the custom shape by selecting pen tool. So that's all for the today. In the next part, you will learn how can we create the shapes so we can use them in the product or advertising pictures. Thanks for watching.